let's get started. Long identifiers. Let's talk about long identifiers. In 12.2, we can have identifiers up to 128 bytes long. And before that, it was limited to 30 bytes. I'm writing a code generator. Is there a way of working out what the limit is with inside the database? You might be thinking, well, this is trivial because I would simply say, okay, if I'm on 12.2 and above, it's 128. If I'm on 12.1 and below, it's 30. It's actually not that easy because, for example, if I go to my database here, VDollar version 19.0, immediately it'd go, ah, I'll be able to use 128 byte identifiers. I try to create one with my really long, you know, my, my really wonderful descriptive name and I get identifier is too long. Why would this happen? Because compatible is not set to 19. And this is not uncommon. We typically upgrade our databases and leave compatible at the lower setting for an amount of time that we might need to go downgrading if the upgrade fails. And then after a certain amount of time, we say, yep, we're definitely staying on 19C from now on. The next outage, we would actually up the compatible. It's common for the compatible to lag behind the release number. And so you can have these scenarios where it looks like you can have long identifiers, but in reality, you can't. Well, maybe I just query VDL parameter. The problem is VDL parameter is a protected view. We don't let people see it normally. If you're going to go grant some of that facility, that's going to be tough if you're writing a code generator that's going to be run on other people's databases. It's generally not good practice to say, oh, by the way, we need access to very secure VDollar views uh, in order for our application to run properly. Uh, that's not going to make you a lot of friends. What if I go look at DBA tab columns? Just go find what's the maximum length of all tab columns view because the owner table, the owner column, the table name column, etc., in the data dictionary itself goes out from 30 to 128. The problem with that is we made this change in Oracle 12.1, but we didn't allow it. We didn't activate it. So in 12.1, we increased the size of all the data dictionary items to 128, but you were still limited to 30. This was like a, a, a two-way step. First, we updated the dictionary to be 128, and then in 12.2, we let you take advantage of it. So even just looking at the data dictionary itself to see if there were some long identifiers doesn't matter you still won't be able to do it until you're at 12.2, in which we actually took advantage of it. So in 12.1, you didn't get that facility. These are my solutions, and they're not great. So that's why I said others are welcome. If you come up with some better ideas, that'd be fantastic. These are my solutions of how you could detect it without actually having to have privileged access. One is I can create a function inside a with statement. These are what we call user-defined functions. And I'm gonna deliberately try to do something wrong. I'm gonna say, okay, Here's my, my identifier that is longer than 30 characters. If I get an error, return one, otherwise return zero. And I can select that, you know, are longs allowed? If I return zero, I can have long identifiers, otherwise I can't. I can shrink that down. In PLSQL, we have a pre-built uh, function called ORA max name length. This was actually designed for making portable code across the different versions of the Oracle database. And so we have the same facility here. What I can do is I can say case when ORA max name length 128, then zero else one select long allowed from dual. But still, I'm running a little peel SQL function inside a SQL statement. That's probably the best I can come up with. So if you have better options, please let me know, hit me up on Twitter, etc. But they're the best options I can come up with to give you a cast iron answer as to whether you can use a 30 character column name or a 128 character column name or variable name, etc, etc. If you do have other solutions, the question is, what should the solution be? You know, should it be something inside, say, DBMS utility, which says what's the maximum length you can have? Should it be some, you know, SQL function? I'm, I'm throwing this out there to the forum. You know, send me a message on Twitter. I'm not curious as to what you think the solution should be. Have a bit of leverage and see if we can push this back into the Oracle database to have it released in, say, 23C.